I don't know about you, but if you were somewhere where they're having Armed Forces Day on an installation, would you go? Yeah? You and I would because we're different. <laughs> but do most people, or are they going to go, ugh? Kids will go because they want to play on the equipment. What will draw people in? A couple years ago, I went to <clears throat> um, Mary Baldwin College to speak to the all-female Corps of Cadets. And we were able to get a Black Hawk to make the trip out there over the mountains. And when it landed in the town square, not in the town square, but in a huge open field next to the university, by the time I came out an hour or so later, there were people everywhere around that helicopter talking to the crew, crawling in and out of it, touching it because Americans like to be part of community. They want to be part of the story. That w they were thrilled that it came there. So it was a big deal to them. And I think that was very important. Next slide. <clears throat> so how are we going to predict your success with your stories? How difficult is it going to be for you to know your audience in the way that some marketers do? Who's that in the picture? Adele. Adele. Her uh, album 25 launched last week. This is a Nielsen analysis of her audience. <coughs> That's pretty specific, isn't it? Drink light beer and bottled water. And it even said the brands. I just didn't add them. And I also made another little abbreviation here. 20% of Adele's uh, primary audience will sniff personal care products before buying them. I should say that since you, they don't sniff all products. Um, <laughs> so they know this audience. They know when to launch it. Why was that launched right before Thanksgiving? Christmas shopping. Um, and they play soccer and work, work in healthcare? That's really specific to me. So marketing and advertising, selling products, no audiences know when to launch a product, and know who's watching. Adele's fans will buy CDs. Even as the music industry is going down and a lot of people don't purchase CDs anymore, they stream, her fans do. As, as gifts. As gifts, true. <laughs> yeah. So how do you know your audience? Where can you get that kind of information? Some of it you can get from the Pew organization that does uh, polls, some of them are kind of vague and more about, say, millennials versus boomers, but you can use that information. Associations, your VFW, um, American Legion, local groups, they can tell you, your recruiters can tell you who's most likely to join the military from this community, what high schools, and recruiting. Recruiting has all kinds. Recruiting Command has all kinds of information on demographics of who joins and why. And another place to get that kind of information is from the PX system. Why? The PX at Henderson Hall in Arlington, Virginia is hugely different from the PX at Fort Bragg. Different audience. What are they going to tell you about the one at Bragg? We sell a ton more jeans in size 26 to 28 inch waist for men. 18 to 24 year olds are our primary audience. This is the stuff they buy. So you can tell about your audience. Who reads your post newspaper? People with the staff need you guys. <laughs> people who are sitting in the hospital waiting room, you know, people who are desperate, have nothing else to read. I think primarily now that is a retirees will read it. But if you want people to read what you're writing, you have to know your audience and you have to keep your information short. You have to keep it brief. Okay. Oh, and next summer's Blockbuster? What do you think that's going to be? Still Star Wars. Still Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk some more about Star Wars. Oh. Batman and Superman. Okay. How, how about then a, uh, something a little more real life? I can tell you right now there are investigative reporters who are traveling with refugees from Syria through southern Europe 
And by next summer, we're going to see a documentary, guaranteed. Everything follows a pattern. That pattern, you can just predict it coming. That's what's going to be next. Next slide. So here's a Pew Research Center piece on selfies. How many of you in here have had a selfie? Which is indicative of generational things. Now, I spoke to a different group about this in August, and I didn't get anybody who said, well, one, one said, well, my daughter took it, so I was in it. I said, OK, that counts. You can have it. Um, <clears throat> part of knowing your audience is knowing their makeup. If you go into a Marriott, anybody been in a Marriott Fairfield Inn lately? You see how they redo them? Hilton's the same way, the way they're redoing how they look. They have social lobbies because millennials will hang out in the lobby, and they better have a lot of plugs, okay, for all of that, all of that equipment. But they're redoing them all because by 2018, the majority of business travelers will be millennials. So what we have here for you is a little bit of a dichotomy. The boomers are aging out and leaving. Gen X is next, and the growing bulk, the bubble, if you will, is millennials. And as millennials move up, they are influencing in ways that perhaps the senior leadership isn't seeing. So you'll see a little bit of that push and pull as you try to convince your commander to do something that they may be reluctant to undertake. Will your commander want to be on Facebook? No. Should they? Yes. yes. Would you rather them be on Facebook or LinkedIn? Facebook. Both? Depends on what you want to use it for.